Hello everyone, happy to see you here at the Top Success. Today we're going to be talking about something that made so many gossips all around the globe. World's third richest person, Warren Buffett, has called the investing in Tesla very poor idea. Why did he say that and what made him to say that investing in Tesla is a horrible idea? We will answer those questions in today's video. So we recommend you to grab some food and get comfortable because you have to see to believe. Make Make sure you stay to the end of the video so you don't miss out on the craziest news ever. You'll be absolutely shocked. World's third richest person, Warren Buffett, has called the prospect of Apple investing in Elon Musk-led Tesla a very poor idea, adding that it's not an easy business. Buffett said, you can win in auto one year and lose the next. There are many big companies with resources which are going to copy what you do, he added. Probably there could be only three reasons why did he say that way. The first one, mainly because of the nature of the automotive industry, which Apple has never had any involvement in. But the second one, just because Apple has been one of Buffett's favorite companies of late. The Berkshire Hathaway chief executive owns about $56 billion worth of Apple stock, which leads an extra bit of credence to his opinions about what the company should do with its huge cash pile. And he wants his opinion to be heard. And the last one, Warren Buffett just doesn't like Elon Musk, as it can be said by his comment about Elon Musk's tweet. As for Musk go private tweets, Buffett said he should have corrected himself after saying he secured funding for a deal if that wasn't the case. If you have got a stock that's trading like crazy, you come on three months later and say, I misspoke when I said funding secured. I really meant to say, I think I can get funding. Can you feel that attitude to mask? So decide which of the following reasons do you think Warren Buffett thinks investing in Tesla is a poor idea and comment the video. Want to know more crazy facts about the incident? Stay with us till the end. We have a lot of things to make you absolutely shocked. Apple is a first trillion dollar company and we all know that. Tesla has had a pretty much rough start. They've had production issues, investment issues, and capital issues. Obviously, these two companies are going to be around for a long time. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, put money to invest in Tesla because he obviously sees it as a good investment for the long term, but doesn't think that things going to work out quick. He thinks it's going to take time before it starts gone. Tesla has had a rocky start, and that's obvious that these electric cars are the wave of the future, and obviously Tim Cook saw that and he invested in it, and it was a very bold move of him. Tim Cook is into tech industry, and Tesla is a tech car but Warren Buffett doesn't support Tim Cook's idea. During an interview with Fox Business Network, Warren Buffett said that if there is something Apple should definitely not do, it is invest in Tesla. Buffett called the prospect of Apple investing in or buying up a Tesla a very poor idea, mainly because of the nature of the automotive industry, which Apple has never had any involvement in. It's not an easy business, Buffett said. You can win in Malto one year and lose the next. You've got a dozen big companies out there with resources. They're going to keep coming. They're going to copy what you do. So according to Warren Buffett comments, we can say that he's not sure whether Tesla is going to be successful in future. He's making many predictions about the failure of Tesla. He thinks there would be a lot of new companies which will kick the Tesla of leadership, and he thinks that one is the biggest reason for not investing in Tesla. After Tesla chief executive Elon Musk cancelled his plans to try and take the electric car maker private, questions immediately emerged about where the company could go next, and if that direction might take it upward towards Apple. There has been on and off speculation that Apple might want to acquire Tesla, in part because of its $244 billion in cash on hand, Apple is one of the few companies that could buy Tesla outright and feel almost no impact on its balance sheet. And probably that's what Warren Buffett is afraid of. He understands that Apple has all abilities to buy Tesla and even not to feel balanced impact, but he thinks that's just a waste of money because he doesn't see Tesla's bright future. Also, Apple has been said to be exploring a self-driving car technology for some time, and in August, rehired Doug Field, a former Apple hardware engineering executive who had joined Tesla two years ago to help with its autonomous driving technology efforts. And judging by this move, it can be said that Apple thinks really seriously about buying Tesla. Probably if Warren Buffett let them buy it, Tesla already would be the property of Apple. However, any Tesla sale to Apple would probably be a long shot. Tesla's current market capitalization gives it a value on Wall Street of almost $52 billion, and Apple doesn't have a history of doing multi-billion dollar acquisitions. The most Apple ever paid for a company was $3 billion when it bought Beats Electronics in 2014. For its part, Apple has always remained mum about any thoughts it might have about making Tesla part of its ecosystem. 
Despite the fact that Buffett voiced his critical opinion about investing in Tesla, at least one Wall Street watcher has been calling for Apple to help the car maker. Aside from Musk's erratic behavior, the company has been burning through its cash as it beefs up production of its Model 3 sedan, which had been plagued with production snafus. Ross Gerber, co-founder and CEO of Gerber Kawasaki, told CNBC that Apple investing in Tesla would benefit both sides. He made the comments on the heels of Musk's go private tweets. In the past, Apple and Tesla probably wouldn't have gotten along because Musk didn't need Apple, but it is clear he needs help now, Gerber told CNBC. Apple also stands to benefit with Gerber arguing Tesla can help Apple gain ground in the car market and garner a potential lead over the long term. He pointed to Apple's self-driving car project dubbed Project Titan, which he said hasn't gone anywhere. Gerber thinks Apple should buy 5-10% to of Tesla, and if to think deeper, it would be a really smart move to unite both of the most powerful world's companies to make it more powerful to make really insane amounts of money. If Tesla and Apple will unite or Tesla become the part of Apple, it won't be a poor idea at all. So let's just think whether Warren Buffett is saying right in investing Tesla is a poor idea and the fact that it doesn't big companies keep coming with resources. And the fact that they're going to copy what Tesla does will make a huge failure for Tesla. Thanks for watching. We hope you stayed to the end to know the craziest news ever. Don't forget to subscribe to know more interesting news and facts. While you're here, go ahead and click one of our videos to watch more interesting things over here. Always happy to see you on our channel.